Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, and I'm coming back at you with a whole new video. <sighs> Think I said that like 25,000 times. <sighs> anyway, welcome back to my junk room, and I'm here to do another video for you. Topic a little different today, although this kind of like I try to make my channel a little different. You never know what you're going to get. One day you might get toy video. Next day you might get something about a mystery Star Wars item or something you never know what you're gonna get here i hope so today we're gonna stay away from toys and for the most part george lucas we're gonna talk about steven spielberg we're gonna look at 15 movies that we almost got from steven spielberg now most of these movies are were gonna be directed by steven spielberg but maybe a few in here mixed in that were gonna be produced by him but i try to stick to uh directing unless i just really wanted to talk about it um also i cut out movies that ended up getting directed or made by someone else i hope there might be a few in here that i didn't notice but i think i picked all those out also hmm. somebody needs to clean my table uh anyway before we get started as always like to support this channel head over to patreon.com i got a new what i plan to do a weekly audio series I guess you could call it a podcast but it's only like 10 minutes or so just me rambling that's going to be weekly so i'm hoping to do more over at patreon i keep being slack with it sorry but we still do action figure show a day early and we do commentary we just have fun over there sometime too or if you don't want to do patreon you can do youtube support all that's down there somewhere i know patreon's in the description below shut up i'm trying to talk to the fine folks in youtube land so you can do that or if you just don't like to support this channel but you want to also look cool then you can just buy a t-shirt like this one right here we got a lot of t-shirts and it's cyber monday for watching this on monday so you can get them for 13 dollars and up and they're on sale a lot of times for 13 dollars so make sure you follow her on twitter that junk man also on Twitter, Kenner Toys, the Junkman Facebook group, over on Facebook, of course, and that Junkman on Instagram. I don't use it that much, Instagram, I need to get more into it, and I don't use Tumblr at all, sorry. Maybe I should get TikTok. If I got TikTok, I probably never would stop. Okay, all that out of the way, let's talk about movies from Steven Spielberg. Now, before you tell me in the comments, Steven Spielberg is a hack. He's not a good director. Who cares about Steven Spielberg? I don't care if you like Steven Spielberg movies or not. You have to admit, he shaped and changed pop culture. Imagine a world without Steven Spielberg. It will almost be as bad as a world without George Lucas. I mean, like I said, even if you're not a big fan of his movies, you have to at least say, look what he did for pop culture for blockbuster movies. I mean, we got Jaws, so what is considered the big, the first blockbuster summer movie. And then you got, of course, Close Encounters, but then you got the franchises like the Indiana Jones series. Come on there. Great. High quality. Indiana Jones is amazing. I'm not the king of the Crystal Skull so much, but it's okay. And I don't care what anyone says. Temple of Doom is a great movie. I like it better than The Last Crusade. Um... The Jurassic Park series. And these are just movies off the top of my head. But then you got, you know, The Color Purple. You got Seniors. I'm not even going to try to say it. That one, you know, with the list on the end. About the Nazis and the Jews and all that. I'm, I'm, I'll butcher it if I try to say it. You know, by a guy that has a list. And that's just off the top of my head. I'm sure I'm missing a lot more that I didn't even bring here. I even hear Duel's good. His first movie. But I never saw it. So, without... Wasting any more of your time, because I'm sure I've wasted a lot of it already. Let's look at 15 movies that we almost got from Steven Spielberg. So let's, I, these are kind of in an order, but it might not be technically all in order, but it's close enough to order that you won't complain about it, I hope. So let's go all the way back to the 70s and talk about one movie that he was going to do. Hold on, I got my list screwed. Oh yeah. One of his biggest hits after his, was, I think it was his film after Jaws, was... Close Encounters, and we almost got a sequel. Can you believe it? We, uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, looking at it. Is that good or bad? A sequel to Close Encounters? Now, I haven't seen Close Encounters in years. I need to go watch it again. I always loved it when I was younger watching it, and I think as an adult, I'll probably like it even more. But we almost got a Close Encounters. I guess it would be called Close Encounters of the Third Kind? 
close encounters of the second kind again? I don't know. In late 1977, after the success of Close in the Counter, Steven Spielberg did express interest in filming a sequel or maybe a prequel. However, he later refused the idea because he felt the Army's knowledge would ensure the cover-up is so subterranean, not sure what that word means, that it would take a creative story. He said maybe it was better for someone else to make the picture, giving it the equal time it deserves. He also said he didn't want Columbia Pictures to make a sequel without him, as he allowed Universal Pictures to do with Jaws. And we know what happened to Jaws. Jaws 1, classic. Jaws 2, you can watch it. Then Spielberg left and they just milked it for all they could. <sighs> Jaws in 3D. Jaws with the re Jaws Revenge, where the shark actually growls. <sighs> Surprised they didn't do Jaws versus King Kong. <sighs> Let me hush. I, might not, I don't want to give them any, any plans. They might come up with that one, so... Let's look at another movie that we almost got. This one here was called Night Skies. After he decided not to make a sequel to Close Encounters, Spielberg started development of his next project, a science fiction horror film entitled Night Skies, a concept that was pitched to him during the filming of Close Encounters. The film was intended to be a spiritual follow-up to Close Encounters. Lawrence Kasdan was attached to write the screenplay, However, the film wasn't made, although the main concept of the film inspired Spielberg's two films, Poltergeist and E.T. He would go on to direct E.T., but only produce Poltergeist. That one sounds interesting. I kind of like to know more about that one, that's for sure. So let's look at another movie he was going to direct, and this one's based on a comic book hero that I've never heard of. I think it was way before the cape-wearing superheroes, Black Hawk. Although it sounds like he wears a cape, I think he's a police officer. In the early 1980s, Spielberg announced that he had plans to direct a film based on the comic book series Black Hawk. Dan Aykroyd was attached to play Black Hawk. However, the project never got off the ground and Spielberg chose to direct Raiders of the Lost Ark instead. In April 2018, new developments emerged when it was announced that Spielberg would produce and direct a new film based on Black Hawk, with a screenplay written by David Kep. However, the movie now seems to be abandoned or still in development hell. Black Hawk. First, I thought it was going to be a prequel to Black Hawk Down, but I don't think it's the same Black Hawk. So, let's see what else. We're into the 80s now. Let's see what Steven Spielberg movie in the 80s we didn't get. Around 1980, during the filming of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Spielberg contacted Gary Davis Goldberg to make a semi-autobiography musical, Real to Real. The story would have been about a filmmaker named Stuart Moses, who was directing a musical remake of Invaders from Mars. The film was officially announced in production in 1983, but Spielberg finally abandoned the project and chose to direct Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Now, it's good when Steven Spielberg teams up. Spielberg, Lucas, we got something good. Well, what about Spielberg and Stephen King? That's right, Stephen King. You know Stephen King, the guy from Creepshow? The one that finds the meteor? Yeah, apparently he writes books and screenplays, and he was going to team up with Lucas. Well, Lucas was going to do a movie based on one of his books, The Talisman. Check it out. Well, not check it out. And I don't know why I said check it out. You're not going to see it. Let me tell you more about it, I mean. Spielberg made several attempts to make a film out of Stephen King's 1984 novel, The Talisman. Ever since, Universal Pictures bought the film rights in 1982. Even in the mid-2000s, Spielberg was talking about making The Talisman into a six-hour miniseries for TNT. But still, we never got it. But who knows? Spielberg's still alive. Maybe we'll get it one day. Now, let's look at a sequel we didn't get. And this one, I'm kind of glad we didn't get it. I think it would take too much from the original. And we're talking E.T. Of course, E.T. was a huge hit. One of the biggest movies of the 80s. I think it, for a time, it knocked Star Wars off the top spot. <sighs> E.T. But we never got a sequel. But they could have done it. And Spielberg was thinking about it. In July 1982, Spielberg hired E.T. writer Melissa Matheson to write a script for a sequel film entitled E.T. 2, Nocturnal Fears. The film would have shown Elliot and his friends getting kidnapped by evil aliens and their attempt to contact E.T. for help. But Spielberg decided to cancel the plans for the sequel, saying it would do nothing but rob the original of its virginity. I think I ought to choose a different word there, but... <sighs> Elliot goes into space... Gets kidnapped by evil aliens. E.T. comes. To... I'm glad we didn't get this one, people. I'm really glad. So, um, Let's do another sequel. This one I would love to see. And it seems it's been in development hell for years. I still think 
uh, it seems like every year they still talk about it, and that's a sequel to Roger Rabbit. Now, most likely he would produce this, and Robert Zemeckis would come back to direct, but come on, we need it. In 1989, Spielberg discussed with J.J. Abrams the possibilities of making a sequel to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The sequel's plot would have Roger Rabbit, Baby Herman, and Richie Davenport travel west to seek Roger Rabbit's mother. On the way, he meets his future wife, Jessica, who at this time is a struggling Hollywood actress. While Roger and Richie are enlisted in the army, Jessica is kidnapped and forced to make pro-Nazi German propaganda. However, the Nazi Spielberg said he never wanted to satirize the Nazis in movies again. Michael Eisner commissioned a rewrite in 1997 with Sherry Stoner and Deanna Oliver. Although in this 1997 rewrite, Roger Rabbit is still searching for his mother. However, the World War II subplot was replaced with Rogers dealing with his sudden rise to stardom on Broadway and Hollywood. Disney even had five songs written for the film. And in 2016, Robert Zemeckis said a sequel is slim, saying the current culture at Disney has changed too much, that they have no interest in Roger Rabbit, and they really don't like Jessica Rabbit at all. It was going to be called Who Discovered Roger Rabbit, but sadly, I guess we'll never get that. Here's another team-up movie we never got. This team-up was saw Steven Spielberg working with Will Smith. In January 1998, Spielberg signed on to direct... Robert Lansfield's script, The Mark. Will Smith said he was told by Robert Lansfield said that Spielberg dropped out due to production and merchandising complaints. Merchandise complaints? I don't really know what The Mark was about, but merchandise complaints? I mean, I'm sure that's something they could work out. Let's see what else we got. Oh, here's another one. That was, here's one that has been a movie kind of about Steven Spielberg. In 1999, Spielberg announced that he was working on an autobiography film entitled I'll Be Home. But nothing became of the project. Well, we never got that one. And here's another one we never got. And I don't know. I like it just because of the name of it. The Curse of Monkey Island. In the year 2000, Spielberg was set to make his first animated feature film based on the LucasArts video game series Monkey Island. A game series he was a fan of at the time. Spielberg was set to direct, produce, and co-write the screenplay with Ted Elliott. However, production was shut down with George Lucas being too busy while he was working on Episode 2. However, some of the concepts from the story did appear in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Here's why I couldn't find that much information on other than a name and that it was going to star Tom Cruise. In August 2020, Empire Magazine said that Steven Spielberg had abandoned his plans to make, to make a western movie called Arkansas that was to star Tom Cruise. Eh, maybe that one will get made one day. Doubt it. And then Spielberg loves to take novels and make them into movie. And one famous novel, and I know it's famous because I've heard of it, it's Catcher in the Rye. Yep, Spielberg wanted to make that also. It was reported that in 2003, Spielberg attempted to direct the film based on the J.D. Salinger novel, The Catcher in the Rye, but could not attain the rights from the J.D. Salinger family. Why wouldn't you give them rights to do it? I mean, it's going to make you a lot of money. I don't know. I mean, they didn't need the money. Let's get back to a sequel we never got. Although we did get a Goonies 2 video game, but not a Goonies 1 video game. I need to look into that, don't I? Spielberg in the 2000s was working on the Goonies 2. Another one he probably would just produce. In 2005, Richard Donner stated that he and Spielberg had written a story for a sequel to the Goonies, despite the fact that the main cast didn't have any interest in reprising their roles in the sequel. In 2008, Corey Feldman stated in his personal blog that a sequel was unlikely to happen. But then in 2014, Richard Donner confirmed that a sequel was in the works. But it seems Spielberg had abandoned the project. I guess he moved on. Just like he did for Indiana Jones. Yeah, it looks like in Spielberg's not going to direct the Indiana Jones movie. If we ever get it. I I'm not convinced we're ever going to get it. Well, I've got one more to look at. And this is another one I like just by the name of it. Let me see if I can say it right. Robocopolix. Ro I knew I wasn't going to be able to say that one. On October 2010, Spielberg has signed on to direct a film based on Daniel H. Williams' novel, Robocopolix, or however you say it. Chris Hemsworth and Anne Hathaway have signed on to star in the film. However, in early 2013, the film was placed on indefinite hold due to production expense. 
A few days after being placed on hold, Spielberg classified he was working on a new script that he could do on a cheaper budget, and it would be more personal. In July 2015, concept art was leaked onto the internet, but by March 2018, Steven Spielberg was no longer attached to the project, and now Michael Bay was signed on to direct. Well, that's a look. I said 15, but I think it was 14. I think I got my numbering system wrong. Sorry about that. And there's a whole bunch of movies that Spielberg was signed up to direct, but someone else ended up doing. That might be fun to look over that list. Let me know if you'd like to see that list. There's a lot of them out there I didn't know he was even attached to, and then found out he was going to make that. Be interesting to see some of those in his vision. Anyway, tell me what you think. Any of these movies sound interesting you'd love to see? Come on, Go Goonies cast. Why don't you come back and make a sequel? What do you mean you don't want to do one? I'm sure Corey Feldman wouldn't mind. Anyway, that's a look at the Spielberg movies we didn't get. Thankfully, we got some great ones, but there's some that could have been great. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this list or some movies you would like to have seen. And as always, subscribe to the channel, thumb up so you like my content, and we'll talk again soon. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.